I'd say you should thank God because it is truly a blessing. He's a blessing to our whole family and we feel really good that God chose him because he'll make a difference and that's what we all want for our kids is them to be happy, be successful and make a difference and he's gonna be able to do that now. Although I'm not his father, but I'm his brother and I've taken care of him like a man would take care of his own child. So if I were to talk to parents whose sons are dealing with the decision of becoming a priest, I'd say that you want, at the end of the day, you want your child to be happy. Especially if what your child is doing is for the glory of God and for the goodness of humanity. So in his case, I said, no, Valerie, you don't have to weep. You don't have to feel bad that I wanted you to go to St. Joseph's College, Sase. I was saying that because I thought that would be the, good, the best thing for you. If you think going to the seminary is what you want to do, you have my complete support, my absolute and total support. And from that day, he's always known that he can count on my support. Just to support that person and um, to, um, you know, just be such a uh, encourager to that, to that young son, because uh, if this is his calling, you certainly don't want to be the obstacle. You want to be the one that uh, supports and uh, encourages them. What I would say to such parents, I would tell them that you should know that all of us in this world, before God brings, before you are born in this world, God already, He has already destined you that you will become a doctor, you will become a priest, you will become a nurse, and so, so you cannot disturb. When God calls for your son to come, let your son go. That is the work God choose for him to do on this earth. Don't refuse him to do it. And he will do it the best way he can, as God has already chosen him. That's what I advise him, not to refuse. Let your son go. The job he has chosen is the job God kept for him on earth. Yeah, Michael's happy being a priest. I, I, I know he's happy. That's, yeah. and, and for a mom, what, you can't ask for anything more. You know, you can't ask for anything more than, is your child happy and, and have they found what their calling is? And I think that's the saddest thing when someone doesn't know what their calling is and can't find it or, or can't live it. So he's definitely, I can say as his mother, he's definitely living it. Well, it's to me the ultimate calling that, that someone would actually be called to serve the Lord as a priest. And so I, I would say to Catholic families that it's just such a blessing and to ask God to show you how much of a blessing it is. And to Protestant families, I would say that anything that their child does that leads them into a closer union with Christ would be so, it's just so incredible to watch. Um, it's so incredible to watch and to know that God is using your child or your brother or your sibling um, in a Christian way to, to, to show others the love of Christ and what Christ has done for us. So I would encourage both people, I know it is, it can be a difficult situation for some people. For us, we were thrilled that Mark has found his, his calling.